Alright, Knights of Apollo. Welcome back to our Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. This is our second time playing through the game, and man, I'm having a lot of fun. Much different, very, very much different um, from the first playthrough. Uh, we're just hanging out, getting good, and Henry is a million times better than he was in the first playthrough at this point because uh, we've been taking our time so we just woke up in townburg beautiful beautiful townburg god i love this game you know i just love stepping out here seeing this oh by the way guys you hear they're making a um kingdom come deliverance board game uh, so i'll have a link to that in the video description so board game um is out um, or not out, but they're working on it. So pretty cool stuff. I might I might have to get it. I d the problem with board games is you need friends. <laughs> I don't really have friends. <laughs> no, I have friends, but I don't know. I don't really have board game friends. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. Anyways, let's keep going. We're going to go attack this camp over here. Might be pretty challenging, actually. And how's our food if we look at that really quick? It's pretty low, so we should actually go eat some food before we go off. I'm a knight. I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> yeah, we're just saving up money as well. You know, for this campaign. So, um, because we're going to need that money eventually. We're going to get some cool armor and better horses later on. So, let's get out of town, Berg, and make our way. This might be the last human base we have to attack. I'm not really sure. I've never really done this. Hello. Okay. Let's so we, let's just go ahead and mark it. Double mark it. Yeah. Double mark it sweep. And yeah, we can't. I was like, wait, why am I not fast traveling? Oh, yeah, you can't. It's not a fast travel location. Now, look at that freaking castle there. That's so sick. Dude, I, I, I really don't understand people who do not like this game. You know? It's like, what are you, a, a woman? Right? <laughs> right? Like, every man should like this game, right? Well, it's because there's no elves in it. <laughs> I only kid. I get it. I get it. Some people have different points of view. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just think, you know, if you love history, it's hard to... N I mean, like, e even if it's not perfect, right? There's obvious... There's some issues to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to act like it's the perfect game. But even in its flaws, it's kind of beautiful. Kind of like Oblivion, you know, where there's so many flaws to Oblivion, but... It makes the game that much more charming. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, you know, we didn't feed, um... Come here, buddy. We should feed you. Look what I've got for you. You'll love... All right. Dried meat. Congratulations. Eat up. Alright, well, let's, uh, first, let's find them. Then we'll put the face guard down. So they are somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Some tents over here. We'll be sure to clear that out. Become a hero of the people. All right. Did they see me? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a very stealth character. Wow! Look at all these. Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more dogs for you. A lot of archers. I'm sorry, mutt. These damn archers are making me frustrated. Okay, not good, not good, not good. Okay, get a little too confident. You know what I mean? <laughs> I try to land a combo here, but it's kind of hard with two people. Wait, what? 
Did that guy die? I think one of the guys that was attacking us got hit. Like with an arrow. Hey! Oh boy, maybe not. Ooh, I knocked him out. Nice. Combo, baby. Didn't really do much. Oh, that's the camp leader. I'm bleeding. This was a tough fight. But it made me better. It made me stronger. Oh god, the arrows. Alright, we're getting near a creek. This guy's full health. Low fast. Nice. Here we go, he's half. But I'm like less than half. Uh, just need a couple more hits. What's happening? There we go. All right. All right. Uh, take all. Oh, really? We're taking too much? Oh. I got a tree to protect me. Oh, yes! Die! Oh, okay. <laughs> that was scary. All right, so I don't even know if we killed them all, but we need to start moving stuff over to uh, my horse. My horse can't carry anymore. Oh, that's right. That is a bummer. Okay. Well, what we're going to do. First off, we need to bandage up. We got plenty of bandages. All right, so we stopped the bleeding. So that's good. But here's the bad thing. We have so much loot. So much loot. We're not going to be able to take it all. And I'm not even sure these bodies are going to stay here. So we're just going to collect their ears. And Groshin. I know this is a lot of equipment we could sell, but... I, f I completely forgot that we have a full, you know, like a full horse. Full of stuff. We might have to get another horse. Oh, dang it. Where did I kill these guys? I know I killed an archer up here, right? Yep, here he is. I don't remember him killing him this close to base. But I will certainly take his ear. His lockpick. He doesn't have any groshin on him. That bastard. Is this guy sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> it just lights out, baby. Lights out. Okay. No groshin? I'll take your sausage, though. So what I could do, I bet I could sleep here. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's just scan through the woods again really quick. Make sure we didn't miss anybody. 
I assume we got the leader's... Oh, no, we did not. Wait. Kill the camp leader? We did not kill him. This is not good. That might be... Come here, Mutt. Come here, buddy. What? What, you don't want to talk? Praise him. Good boy. I think he ran off because I I injured him. Oh my god, right in his That's face there, boy. Henry. Alright. End dialogue. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be something. Alright, I guess we should just use the compass and see where it takes us. Are you the camp leader? You're dead. Ah, we gotta get that. Okay. Ooh, let's get that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two point two k. That just might be. Oh my goodness. I think this stuff is actually better. Yes, way better. So we're gonna put that on. Um, that is what? How can that be? This is not as good, but it looks fancier. Hmm. All right, and then there was also like some arm armor. That's the same. Okay. I guess that's, no, we're wearing that. Where is it? I know I got some, oh, right here. Yes. Yes. Look at me. That's some sick armor. It makes me want to check these, uh, these guys again make sure we we got everything Woo -wee. long distance arrows nice all right so we got some great stuff on us and you know what can we get on the horse all right we really can't carry anymore I tried I grabbed a couple expensive stuff so we need to go to Rate. Now we it's not gonna let us fast travel. So we're just gonna have to travel there on our own. So I'm gonna do that now. And then what we're gonna do is go back to Townburg and trade in all this stuff. That was actually a tough fight. I you know, I went into it very cocky. You know what I mean? Like, I went into it not really thinking much about it. Didn't really... I thought I was going to just slice through. Because, honestly, I thought it was a bunch of archers. When I first looked at it, it looked like a bunch of archers. And thank God one of their guys were sleeping, right? I mean, could you imagine another swordsman attacking me? It was nice, too, that we pulled off a combo. Ooh, jeez. Yeah. Go down here. I'm just taking the most direct, straight path. I think this is a path we can use. Kind of. These are like the off the beaten path kind of path. But well, we should be at Rate in no time. I'll, what I'll do, guys, I'll just unless something very interesting happens here, I'll just edit this out. We're already in Rate Woods, so we'll be there in a second. All right, guys, we made it back to Rate. Uh, yeah. I think I'm. it's a little too late. It's getting dark, so I'm just going to head back to Teresa's and sleep there. And we'll wake up fully healed, we should be. Wait, is this? This isn't Teresa's. Hold on, where are we? <laughs> yeah. We got to look. <laughs> yeah. We got to go a little bit further down. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we're we're very injured. Teresa touch my wounds. Ugh. Let's sleep. Alright, so we will sleep until 
We are fully healed. 12 hours it's going to take. We are severely wounded. We need a good night's rest. And the great thing is we'll wake up and there'll be some stew waiting for us. Then we're going to sell all this junk. We're going to head back to Townburg. And then we're going to com we're gonna keep doing some of the main quests. Uh, I want to start getting to the storyline of the fort. Uh, the bandit hideout. Which I want to get to that soon. All right, get up. Eat some food. All right, Mutt. Watch out. I gotta wash my face. Mutt, where are you? Let's feed Look you. What I've got for your love. All right. Give you this. There you go. All right. And now we are off. Oh, wait. We can't fast travel. Let's take the horse. Yeah. And don't worry, guys. We're going to be... Trust me. Before we finish this campaign... Probably long before we finish this campaign... I'm going to be decked out in sick-ass armor. And so will uh, my horse. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say pebbles because I might replace pebbles here. Just for the sake of variety. We love pebbles, we do, but, you know, you can buy other horses. Alright, watch out, coming through. I feel like I'm playing GTA when you're in that super fast car and you're just ah. weaving, weaving through traffic. That's what it feels like. Good people, come up close and have a smell. Alright. Vegetable. Let's go ahead and sell everything I have on me right now, and then we'll sell the rest of the stuff. Yes, let's talk trade. Sell. So. Oh, yeah. We're about to make some money here. Look how much money the dude has. He has 8K now. We're making this guy rich. I'm rich, bitch. Uh, I guess we'll sell this because now we have a better one. Honestly, we look pretty good if we just took this off. Wait, we don't want to sell it though. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Two silver spurs. Oh no, he's. We have 8k. <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh. Okay, well then, we need some of the stuff back. He can only buy 2.3 worth of stuff, so. Let's only sell him 2.3 worth of stuff. There we go. Man, we got so much stuff. Woof. All right, uh, just take it. You know what, we should have probably just repaired See you later. our stuff first. Pair that, 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 that. Oh, you do the sword? Okay. All right. Repair, close the deal. How much was that? I didn't see. Hey, what is he? Let's talk trade. Now he's got more money. Oh, that was that was a lot of money. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back and sell, sell, sell. Get our money back from all those repairs. Oh. All right, uh, we'll remove this. Probably can put something a little cheaper there. Whoa! God, oh wait, that's his stuff. I was like, whoa, we got some good stuff here. Here, all right, that's, that's good. And close the deal. All right, how about that? All that grows in the ground. All right, let's go to this weapons guy because I think we have some weapons to sell. Man, the crazy thing is we still have a ton of stuff to sell. I'm honored that a knight such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stock trade. All right. I guess we don't have a lot to sell them. Um, I think we gotta. Yeah, we gotta get these weapons. I don't know if he'll buy arrows, but we can try. 
He won't he won't buy any of this this stuff, so <laughs> Alright. And let's talk trade. God be with you. So Did I did I hit sell all? No, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh god. Man, okay. I wish this guy would buy more than just swords. All right. Thank you, sir. Well, we cleared up some space. Let's see what um, the tailor will buy. I don't think the tailor will buy armor, but who knows? Maybe we got some clothes and stuff. We can, we can My sell them. Greeting. Yeah, let's talk trade. Yeah, oh, okay, this is good. We can sell this. Nice. Uh, oh, is this, do we wear this? Oh yeah, we do, okay. Well, that's all sold. Um, I guess we'll just close the deal. I need to get, um, God. We're gonna move all this stuff. He'll probably buy the boots. If not, we could sell the boots at the cobbler guy. Maybe the gloves. He'll buy the gloves. Definitely buy this stuff. Oh my god. We have so much stuff still. Alright, let's talk trade. Good lord, watch over you. Good lord, watch over you, good sir. Oh yeah. He's buying the boots. The best boots in town. I don't think we're getting a lot for this stuff. Yeah, we're not. The stuff's worth way more than what he's given us. Maybe we should try selling it to someone else. Let's just take what we got here. Yeah, just close the deal. Alright, enjoy those cheap items, you jerk. Let's try going to the trader over here. All right, trader, trader, trader. Let's do some trading. What are you looking for? Just a few. Oh, you're talking to me, good God sir. Grant you health. I'll be with you. Um, it looks like I can sell. Uh, some stuff to. Yeah, I can sell them everything. I mean, I'm getting a little bit more over here. Whatever, just sell it. All right, that seems to be everything. I could sell the books I've read. Oh, and these silver stuff. <laughs> silver goblet and whatnot. Okay, and oh, he doesn't even have I just, whatever, just <laughs> give me this back there. God, you know, okay. it's not easy being this rich. All right. So there's another person we can go to, to sell some stuff. We're going to go to the huntsman, uh, which is, you know, where you can buy bows and stuff. Maybe he can train us in hunting a little bit. I don't know. I think we've actually already been to him about, um, you know, improving our skill with hunting. Okay. I'm honored that you should. Yes. Uh, let's do training. Hunting? I'd like you to show me some. Certainly. To I'd like to practice the. All right, but it. Pay. No. Pay. So the reason I'm trying to improve my hunting skill is because I want to be able to read that book. Hold on, I'm not done with you. Did I say I was done with you? Oh, sorry, sir. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Oops. All. There you go. Um, we could also sell whatever to him. So let's just sell what we have here. Um, we have more items in here. So we'll just move all this stuff. Oh yeah, this stuff is worth a lot. 
And maybe you want to buy it. I think you will. He's got only 600 gold left, though. So we'll sell 600 gold worth of stuff. Hmm. See, we'll start with weapons. Get rid of the shield. And then we have a ton of armor. Oh boy, he's. This is not gonna. I have four of these. <laughs> oh boy. We'll just do two. There we go. We're. Okay, that's good enough. For now, we're carrying too much. We got too much. Well, we gotta go to other towns and just slowly uh, sell this stuff. You know, it's just how it's gotta be. Okay. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the grindstone to sharpen our swords. We'll just do our, our good sword here. Oh, it looks like the blood's already off of it. The sword looks like to be in good condition. Okay. We'll leave it. I guess I repaired the sword and it fixed it. All right, so we've got that. Uh, we want to go now back to Townburg. So we will do that. Move into Townburg. And we could sell some stuff to the trader guy over there, though he's not going to have a lot of money. You know, I'm surprised, like, human equipments... I, I, or it wouldn't be... Maybe this is a mechanic, but, like, maybe it sells for really cheap because nobody really wants it. And uh, it's already past noon. It's now one. I keep looking at the time, how much time we have left for this episode, and I'm like, no, don't end. It's just, I could play this all day long. All day long. All day long. All right, so let's go to the trader. How much money you got? How much money you got? I hope I can be... Can we trade? Let's if see you what he's got. You. He's got... Am I seeing this right? 22 gold? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Not even going to waste my time. Greetings. I feel like I should be leaving my Groshan in my chest. I mean, imagine someone killing me and finding 11k gold. I've taken care of that camp. Have you brought me proof? Here it is. I'm delighted to hear it. Now it seems we can take a bit of a breather. There's no sign of any humans around here. I must say, I'm impressed with the job you've done. Thank you, Captain. But it would be a pity to waste your talents. They say the roads aren't safe even by Sazal, or around Scalids. God preserve us. Over there, the brigands are on the rampage. Now there's oh, brigands. We moved up to, to brigands. With. I don't doubt it. But in Sazal, you'll have to go first to Sir Sebastian. He's the custodian of the Sasau Monastery, and in charge of security in that region. He'll tell you where to find them, and I'm sure he'll be glad of a helping hand. All right, well, there's our next... I'll head there, then. That's good. I was worried that this is going to be the last of... I have some trophies. Show me. They deserved it, the bastards. Six cumin ears. Nice. Yes. Yes, we're making money. <laughs> All right, uh, let's now go to Yushits. Yushits? Yushits. And we're going to ask around about the one-legged fellow. Oh, what do we got going on here? Oh, an ambush. Oh, no, I'm so scared. So what you're made of. Okay. Christ. Oh, you're dead? Oh, enough. no. No, I haven't, actually. Have you had enough? Have you had enough? Huh? Oh, you getting? Don't you dare! Don't you dare hit mud! Okay. Man, it used to be a challenge taking these guys on. I'm like, I'm so rich. I'm at 13k gold. I might just, 
I might just not take their gold. It's so low. No, it, it all adds up. Thank you for the gold, guys. I'm pretty sure that was everyone. So, as we were, before we were rudely interrupted... And we could also try to sell some stuff over here, too. Alright, let's ask around over here. This guy looks like he knows something. I'm honored that a knight such as you... Yes, I know. I know. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? And what would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so he's got... Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go, Pebbles. Yeah. Uh, wait, isn't there a trader over here? Yeah, there is. Come right up. Let me sell some stuff. I hope I can be up. Yes, let's talk trade. Good luck to you. So he's got 2.5k. That's actually pretty solid. Oh, we don't have. Okay. We've got to uh, first move all this stuff. I don't know if we're going to be able to sell all of it, but we should be able to sell most of it. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah, looks like we're gonna be able to sell all of it pretty easily, actually. Yeah, 1.1k, sweet. He's, that's like half his money. So, let's close the deal. Appreciate it. Problem solved. Whew, we are making some big time bucks. Okay. And we want to go to over there. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on here? and reinvestigate the situation. This is Henry. FBI. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. Henry of Scalids, FBI. Oh, under Sir Radzig. Like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter. This is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz, and I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? That's our guy. Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Blimey! Traitor! Nothing's ever easy. 
I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. All right, all right, listen up, listen here. Who was Limpy Lubosh? Who was Limpy Lubosh? Oh, speech went up. A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Uh, why did he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Why do you, uh, why do you know anything, uh, anything? Has he do been up to anything okay, suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Okay, uh, did he have any cronies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Mm, none. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Hmm. Where was it the night of Neuhoff was raided? Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhoff raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk, so you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Interesting. When did you find the body? Oh, Has level up! Anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Another thing about Lubo. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. We asked all the questions. So we gotta go ask around. Archery master, villager. Talk to you. Good day to you. What do what you do know? You need? Protect uh, FBI. This is Henry of uh, Scalitz under uh, the protection of Lord Redzig. Can you tell me anything about Lubosh? I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you. But ask if you must. Who was Lubosh? Who, um, who, who was this Lubosh who was murdered? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. Ooh. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. All right. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. All right. That's all. Thank you. I'm gonna talk to the priest. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Do is a priest. Oh, also we leveled up, so let's do that. Oh wow, we have a lot of stuff we can level up. Ooh, first aid, local hero. Let's see what this is. As long as you remain still, the tiredness and hunger will stay at the same level. Ooh. If your reputation is high in an area, you get a plus one bonus in strength, speech, agility. But wow! At the same time, though, your reputation falls much faster than usual, and the penalties for jail time last longer. Uh, I don't really keep up with reputation that much. Low reputation, first day two. Um, penalties, stats, follow release, jail, scout. Increase the sight distance to fast travel. I guess we'll do local hero I, I mean sure warfare let's see yeah ch each blow of an un un uninterrupted chain will hurt your opponent more than the previous one wow against all odds you have 20 percent greater strength agility warfare and defense in a fight where you're outnumbered yes that's huge skills maintenance nice Let's see, what, uh, what do we got? Uh, a weapon you've sharpened yourself will cause 15% greater damage to your opponent's armor and equipment. A weapon you've sharpened yourself has 15% chance, greater chance of causing bleeding. 
That's pretty good. Each time the clothing you're wearing, you've repaired yourself. Let's do uh, let's do this edge one. Cause more bleeding. Cool. All right. What level are we? We are level twelve. Level twelve. Yeah. I don't remember. What? What's going on? Thief. What's happening here? I'll get you. What's going on there? What's Who going on? Uh, Where's this thief? Uh, hey, who's there? Where's the thief? Ah, uh, whatever. We missed it, guys. We missed it. Here, come here. Come here, Pebbles. I think it could, it could have been a little side thing where you get some street cred, you know? Would have helped our reputation if we stopped them. Alright. This... This priest here... He is quite the fellow. That's all I have to say. I ask you a few questions about Lubash. Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. Excuse me? But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, tell me. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity... <sighs> this guy is such a hypocrite. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. Um... You could be condemning innocent people to death. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? True. Yes. Very well, then. Can I trust you not to say a word to anyone? Trust me. Lubos came to me shortly after everything that happened. His conscience was gnawing at him. I must say I never expected it of him, but he turned out to be a better man than he seemed. He said some crony of theirs hired them. First they thought they were going to steal horses, but then it all got out of hand and people started dying. He and his gang didn't want any part of that. So they quarreled with the others and ran off. Quarreled? A corpse was found in the woods by Neuhoff. Hmm. Well, that would explain something. Lubos kept blabbering on that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know Lubos killed one of the murderers and now he's dead too. Only I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Just nicknames. But maybe that'll help. He mentioned some fellows called Riki from Ledechko, Pius and Timmy. Nothing more? No. I suppose it'll have to do. I reckon I'll go and have a look around Ledechko first. Thank you, Father. And don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Um... I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I didn't mean to click I on that, I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by. And it helps keep me in good form. Good luck to you. Good luck. So, we need to now fast travel back over here. 
Oh yeah, and we also need to see how Fritz is doing. Here we go. It is gonna be late though by the time we get there, so we might have to um, find a place to sleep. And is it? We're get. That's right. We got a little bit more time. A little bit more time. Hopefully, we get to some kind of conclusion here. Now we fast travel. Yeah, it's getting real dark. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to find a place to sleep. Where's the tavern? Let's see, where's the tavern? There's gotta be a tavern somewhere. We haven't really, oh, this looks like, yeah, lodgings. All right, we're hungry, we're tired. It's been a long day. Is this private? Here, you work here? Come here. I need a place My to sleep. greetings. To yes. Uh, I need a place to Have sleep. You got a bed for the night? Aye, there's room here. For how long? For one Just night. Just one night. No problem. Here you are. You've got it all. Good luck, then. Good luck. Is it this way? Oh, no. Probably this way. Some food here, too. We might as well eat. Probably gonna have to eat again in the morning. I like the audio in this. Here, let me uh, do something really quick and try to get our lock picking up. Oh, we failed? It's embarrassing. Freaking <laughs> mutt. <laughs> nice. Nah, see, we leveled up in lockpicking. I'm not even taking the stuff in here. I'm just doing it purely for practice. Here we go. Mutt, go to go to bed. I wonder if we can read that book now, now that we leveled up our hunting skill. So... The joy of gutting. No. Damn. Damn, damn, double damn. Alright. Go to sleep. Ooh, comfort is not very good. Okay, we don't need it to be good. So, we're gonna go to sleep here. We're gonna get full health or full energy. Um, we will be hungry again. And we gotta find a guy called Riki. Riki. And we'll see what happens from there. And we'll go ahead and wake up right now. Oh. Good sleep, good rest. Who's this guy? Now we probably... Oh, I'm trespassing? Oh, okay. Mutt! Dude! Look what I've got for you. Here. Eat this and shut up. So this Riki guy... Maybe we have to ask around about it? Oh, yeah. We gotta ask around about it. Let's first look at what Fritz is up to. Fritz and Matthew. Fritz? Oh, they're sleeping. Wake Jesus, up. What do you mean up? Are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Well, what's happened? Did you two get yourselves into trouble? What fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. <laughs> oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that monk. 
But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Is he too hard on you? I never guessed it. Why do you want... Wait, what do you want to do about it? And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. I'd like to ask about that Tom... Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. Just trying to get more info like, about him. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller's... Uh, the miller doesn't mind? And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. But you don't provoke him, I hope. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him. I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going and he starts yelling too and... I've never guessed it. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. Good luck, then. Good luck, then. <laughs> Well, let's talk to... Wait. Why is she... Fritz, let's talk. Hey, how'd you get... Did you get so far? Excuse me? The monastery wants money from you? The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howl. I won't. What happened? We... might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved in me. We'll settle it on our own. <laughs> who did you beat Wait, up? Wait, who exactly did you pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us and... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault and we're not going to talk about it anymore. It was, Couldn't there be a way to settle it? was probably the priest. Was you off the there isn't. All right, if you say so. I don't know, I'm not going to push it. Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. What has he drown? done to you? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day here. Uh, we had a disagreement, and I told him off. These guys yeah. deserve it. I, you know... We're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. <laughs> I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here. But that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. He doesn't seem that bad to me and the others at the mill. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. 
He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the Miller's daughter. She's right there, she's dude. Pretty lass. She's and kind like... with it. But what can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Mafia going to see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He might make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. He doesn't seem that bad to me. And what do you want to do about it? And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the play's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. This sounds like a terrible idea. Good luck then. <laughs> This is Damn. ridiculous. These guys are bums. You're just bums. I don't know. <laughs> Go kill some cumins, you know? Like, jeez. Alright, guys. So, we're out of time. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to end the episode here. We'll figure out what to do with... I think I'm just gonna talk to Thomas. I don't think I'm gonna beat him up or something. It's ridiculous. It's not very knightly of me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't, we couldn't finish this main quest. We're just gonna have to save it for the next episode. Um, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait for the next one. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.